You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? You guys were just waiting for it to happen. I know. I know how you are. You were just waiting. In fact, you are probably taking bets. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to finish up some, uh, you know, some just final touches or finishing touches here on our first factory. And we're also going to set up um, that Caterium, uh, pure Caterium vein that's off that way uh, with an, its own awesome sink and just have it start, you know, making coupons for us until we're ready to actually do something with the ore itself. Um, all right, so let's see here. Um, I, as you can see, I, I set up my my three assemblers. So let's let's look at that real quick. Um, this assembler here is making reinforced plate using our alternate recipe, and it's outputting five five point six plates per minute. And I have it f feeding into this storage container, but then it's coming directly out of that storage container. And going into one of the inputs in this assembler, which is currently just making normal modular frames. Now, what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on building a, another screw production to feed into here ultimately. And when that happens, then we'll switch this over to the, um, uh, the alternate bolted frame. But right now I just have it on the normal frames because I, I don't have enough screws to support it right now. And so yeah, so this one's currently making normal modular frames, but we'll switch it to the alternate recipe once I get the screws up and running. Um, the uh, And then this one here is making uh, rotors using our alternate copper recipe, feeding in the copper sheets that we set up in the last episode, and uh, also some screws going into there. And so, if you remember, we set up the you know the storage bins um, yesterday, and I put all of those those grommets up in the floor, so that way we can just feed things up neatly through the floor into the assemblers, and it's all you know relatively easy to switch around if you know if, if we ever need to actually do that. Okay, so yeah, uh, we just put uh, the lifts here, and then you know we did the usual thing with the belts to get all of that. Um, in there. Now this assembler takes uh, 22 and a half copper sheeting per minute but if you remember we're, we're actually producing 40 of these per minute so that way we you know we have extra. Um, it's taking in 195 screws per minute which is actually not sustainable right at the moment it's just that I, ha I have completely filled up all three of the bins so for now you know we can feed the screws into it but that will eventually run out and that's why you know one of the reasons why we need to make uh, another screw uh, production line to support both this assembler and this one we, when we switch it over to the alternate recipe for the modular frames okay um, so these guys are just feeding their well the other two the rotor and the frames are just being fed into those bins and I'm, I'm just letting them accumulate for the moment because the main idea or goal behind these products here is that we use them for you know things like milestones and for building they're not intended to be used to feed into a higher level production uh, a couple other things too when i set uh, this up in the last episode i had failed to connect um this the belt from here to here so this guy wasn't working and and the smelter kept shutting down like all of the time and i was like trying to figure out why the hell is that not working until i realized that i had missed that connection so we fixed that and um yeah so each one of the, oh wait a minute these guys are really doing 10 copper sheet per minute hmm okay so that's i'm gonna mm, i'm gonna have to think about that too because actually that isn't sustainable because you're you need 22 and a half per minute. I might, what I might end up doing is down clocking this then um, because we need we need copper sheeting. We're going to need quite a bit of copper sheeting, in fact, when we set up our big coal power plant. So so I either need, well, yeah, we need, we're going to need it. So I might, 
I might expand this operation and add maybe another constructor. Um, what are you doing right now? So you're you're uh, you're underclocked a little bit, and you are. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I did. I had left this on the 13.33% that it was doing and had this one going full bore. And what I decided to do instead is set both of these evenly to produce um, enough ore to support the full the full need. Um, so basically, that came out it was to 26.67 when I did the math. Um, so another way of putting it is basically we need 40. We need 20 for this one, 20 for this one, and 13.334 for this one. So I just you know that comes out to 53334 and then I divided that by 2 which is 2667 I'm still I still have some shutting down going on here though um, which is I, I'm not quite sure why to be honest with you well you know actually I think I do know why I think it has something to do with with this kind of getting a little bit backed up um, so yeah I, there's probably something that I don't have set exactly right but I mean it's working but that does once again show me though that I, I need we need more copper plating we're, we're gonna need enough because the, even just this by itself is not enough to sustain that assembler so I'll probably what I'll probably do is add another constructor into the mix and then I might actually need to overclock one or both of these guys to support that so that way we have at least one constructor making you know uh pure or the i'm sorry making the um the copper plating for us as excess so that we have some of it to use but i'm not going to do that on camera i'll do that off camera uh okay so the other thing too is and i do believe i showed this to you yesterday um is that we're going to um i have all of this space over here that i that i cleared up and this is going to be the screw production. So, so we're going to set up a bunch of screws. My basic plan, I believe, for that is... Um, I'll, I'll just kind of give you the, the, the real rough outline. We're not going to actually set it up right now. But we'll have a smelter here, one here, and one here. So that's three smelters. And then we're going to have... Um, We're going to have a constructor here. Oh, I'm missing the reinforced plates. Okay, yeah, let me go grab some of those. And actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to actually space these out a little bit better than this because if we keep them like that, then the constructors will overlap with each other. So we'll put that one there and Yeah, I think we'll we'll probably go ahead and just put this one here. Got that turned the wrong way, don't I? Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put um, a constructor here. Let's try that again. Okay, and then we're going to put two more constructors in front of this one. Put one there and one there. Okay, so this guy is going to do 30 iron ingots per minute. This guy is going to... Uh, Produce. Uh, we're going to overclock this one to produce uh, 20 rods per minute, and then we're going to put a you know put a splitter on it, and we're going to send 10 rods into this guy and 10 rods into this guy. Uh, we got to select the screw recipe into this guy, 
and then uh, so so ba basically both of these machines will produce 80 screws and then we'll multi multiply that by three so basically we'll have 240 uh, screws in total coming out of these three machines and then with that 230 screws we will have um, see we'll have a total of if we went to this recipe here so this would need 56 screws no, sorry, 100, 140 screws per minute. And this one needs 195 per minute. So 140 plus 195 is 335. But we're, but we're only going to be producing 240 screws from that, uh, you know, those three little production lines down there. So what I'll end up doing is I'll end up down clocking the, uh, this machine and this one when it's, you know, when it makes those to, to basically match that. And, um, and then our normal screw production, which is just one single machine, can go back to just producing screws for the sake of the screws themselves. Because uh, that's just one machine, it's not overclocked and all it's doing is outputting 60 per minute. Um, but you know we got we, we completely filled up these three bins so that's why I'm currently feeding the excess into the assemblers until we get the screw line set up so hopefully that all made sense uh, to you guys and uh, yeah so let's do this let's uh, spend a little bit of time um, on the factory itself um, we're gonna put the rest of the the windows in place um, so let's get that done first and then we're also gonna kind of clean up the power uh, the power around here just a little bit too so I'm going to grab all of the silicon that I have, and if I need to make more, uh, we, we can do that. In fact, you know what we could do is let's, um, this is very temporary. I mean, uh, this is just for, well, no, actually, never mind. I'm not going to do that. If I need to make more s silicon, I'll just do it by hand because it doesn't take that long to do. Um, so let's get the rest of the windows in place in our factory. We're going to get the roof on it, which is only just going to be another floor because I don't have access to actual roof pieces yet. And we're going to also add some, uh, some trim to the factory as well. Okay, so um, let, let's actually go down here for a minute. I think I'm going to go ahead and enclose the front of this too. Uh, which means, well here, let's actually let's actually leave that open and let's put a door in there. The thing we might have a problem. Okay, we've got this we got the side, we got a gate or a center. If we did the side, that's just perfect. Oh, <laughs> except that uh, <laughs> we don't have the clearance there. Okay, we're gonna have to move the the stairs over a little bit, which we can do. That's not a big deal. Um, okay, so let's finish then this, and we also need to somewhere right about here probably. We should have a con. Oh, it's right here. We should have a concrete pillar. So let's grab this and um, zoop this up to here. Let's get our windows in. No, our windows. There you go. go to there this will go to here and oh we're out of, of normal plates okay here let's just open this back up for a moment in fact we're gonna have another opening here anyway it's kind of have to figure out where it's gonna be Whoop. 
Oh, that's the copper sheeting. Uh, okay, let's go here. There we go. Let's grab a couple stacks of those. Um, and actually, you know what? It probably... Probably does make sense to, to have a door right here. Let's get, uh... You in there. And why don't we put a... Why don't we put a gate door here? No, that's not right. Oh, for Pete's sake, really? <laughs> I just took down the hub and the and the the ma'am. It went right through the fucking gate. What the hell, man? <sighs> okay. Uh, put the man back. Nope. Gotta go back further. Still has to go back further. Yeah, that was bullshit, man. It went right to the, right to the damn gate. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's put the the hub back. For goodness sakes, did it? Oh. I thought if you had stuff in the in the hub storage, it would spill out on the ground, but apparently it doesn't. Hopefully we didn't lose it. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have. Alright, let's put that back to where it was. So does all the stuff just stay in here? Oh, no, it went into my inventory. Okay. Man, that scared me. I didn't hate to lose all that. That would be a sucky situation. Yes, it would. Um, okay, so sort that, sort that. Okay. Okay, take the gate down and not anything else. All right, so if we put... If we put the gate whole wall in here... How do we... How do we get the gate in? Because this was kind of like... See, that's not... That's like a separate piece. Is it supposed to be that way? Maybe it is supposed to be that way. That just seems really odd. I don't... That just doesn't look right to me. I think... I think the gate just goes... in like this. Okay, why isn't it... Oh. So what... What goes in this... In, in this hole then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what goes in there. Is there another piece I'm missing? Hmm. Because, I, I mean, I can put that there, but it, it looks... It does not look like it's supposed to go there. That is just messed up. All right, well, I guess we won't use that. Just kind of weird. Just kind of weird. All right, let's get the rest of the windows in here. That's looking nice. All right, now we got to fix this. Um, actually, I'm just going to leave the door there. Let's take this back down. No, 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 no. I don't want to take the cable down. Actually, I do want to take the cable down, but not yet. Um, why don't we do this? Why don't we take 
you and put you here. No, that's not right. Take you You. All right, damn it. I keep grabbing the wrong thing. This is what I want catwalk crossing. All right, now put that there. And put it there. And then take you and put you right here. Uh, yeah, and then take both of you down, put this right here, now we'll grab the stairs, and that way they're not glitched into the, well, I guess we moved that out anyway. That works perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And then we just need... Some safety rails here and here. I like it. I like it. Okay, good. Now, um, my thought was to leave this upper floor open. And I think we'll do that, just because we can. Because it just seems like a damn good idea. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and grab you. And we're gonna, we're gonna just, we have to use foundations for roof pieces, because I don't have the roof pieces yet. Uh, which is partly why I want to, uh, you know, while I want, want to get going on our coupons again. And that's what we're going to use the Caterium to do. Something, something's shut down over here. Yeah, I don't know. I might do one final, um, you know, real thorough look at everything and see if I can figure out why I'm, why I'm still having some stuff backing up. Because I thought... I thought that I had set it up right, but when you hear your machine shut down like that, especially if, if it's happening a lot, it means something's wrong somewhere. I just have to figure it out. Um, and if I can't figure it out, I can't figure it out, is what it is. Um, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to... Um, what if we actually... Well... Okay, let's try something here. If we put... Oh wow, that was weird. It was zooping on the, on the other side. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to fix that when we get up there. What if we take these stairs and we reverse them back up this side? Okay, so that means we need to remove you. If we put this here, I think that could work. Okay, 
let's um let's get our rails all the way down here. are not supposed to be here. Let's get the rest of the roof on. Oh, we need to also fill in this. And no, not that. Grab one of these. that there okay let's finish the roof and then we'll we'll get the rails up along the perimeter all right you know what we could do we could put the space elevator up on top of here If we do that, then I'd have to figure out what we would do down there, but I, I'm not, uh, you know, like I told you, I th believe I told you in the last episode, I'm not planning on doing any more, setting up any, any more production lines in this factory. This is, this is all we're going to do with it, as, aside from setting up that screw production that I talked about. Um... So that's a possibility. Or we don't worry about it, and this is just a big ass roof, um, and you know, be done with it. Because so I really do want to get started on our next factory as soon as possible and get into steel. So I think, yeah, I think at this point, unless I change my mind, which you know, I always have the that option. Um. I think we'll we'll just leave it the way that it is. And this is just the roof. Very good. Okay, now the last thing I want to do in here in this episode is I just wanna wanna see if we can tidy up our power a little bit and uh, make use of some wall sockets. So if this is gonna stay an open air floor, which it is. It still makes sense, I think, for us to use the power poles out here. But once we get inside, um, that can change the situation a bit. Oh, you know what? I need to finish the windows down here. Um, the other thing we should do later on is get some lighting in here too, but I don't have any lights yet. I haven't been able to, haven't been able to afford to buy any at the moment. But yeah, that needs to happen as well. Okay. So we have power uh, coming into the building here, and actually the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to. Why don't we move our power out to the edge here? Let's do that first. Okay. And um, I still want to be able to make more biofuel if we if we ever need to. The only thing that I can think of that I would still use biofuel for is the chainsaw. Uh, we don't need it for the tractor because we can use coal for that. But, you know, it might have a, another use for something else. I'm not really sure. So we'll just keep this production line here. Okay, you can go into there. And then we have... 
these two connections here, which I think what I'll do is rather than have that other power line on that side, why don't we let's see you're right there. If we put it on this seam here, and then disconnect both of those. We got, we got a little bit of clip in there. So I think what we'll do is we'll just move it out to here then. This line here is going to go away, so I'm not worried about that. And then let's remove this cable here and hook this one up to it. Okay, good. And then what we'll do here is, uh, see if we're putting that on that edge there, let's go to here and grab a wall outlet. And I th think, yeah, I think that's the height we need to go to. Oh, that maxes you out. Oh man, that's that's probably why I ran this other one over on this side. Can you've got three? Can we hook this one? up to there without clipping. Yes, we can. Okay, good. So that, that takes care of that issue. And then let's hook that up to the wall socket. Okay. I'm gonna run in here real quick and we're not done outside, but Okay, so this power line, the first power line that we have in here is this one, which makes sense. Okay, so if we put this on the seam and then put it up, I think that was the right height. Be able to run to there. Hmm. I don't like this business here, to be honest with you. So, how we're going to fix that is we're going to do this. No, that's up too high. He needs to come down one there. I, and I, I think I might have mentioned this earlier, but I just kind of view that as like a conduit going through the the structure there, so I'm not really too worried about that. There, yeah, that looks better. All right, now let's connect you into, well, here, let's disconnect this main line. It'll bring everything down in here for, the sec, for a second. And now it's back up. Except that, I'm going to move you over to the seam because um, I think it's just a little neater that way. Okay. Oops. That gets everything back up and running in here. Okay, let's finish up out here. 
uh, so we don't need this any longer or any of these along here. All right, so that neatens up the power out here. I think I already put all of these right on the intersections there, so those are nice and neat and lined up. And that looks better. Now let's go to this side and we're going to do the same thing. Let's move you to here. And can where is that power line there? Can I Get from there up to this new one, or is it going to be too far? I can. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Okay, so we don't need this one or this one. I wasn't sure if that was going to reach, but it does. Okay. All right, so we're also, what else are we powering? We're powering the, the awesome sink here. So let's bring uh, or set up a pole right here. And we'll go from there to there and from there. Well, here, let's take this down. From there to there. And we don't need this one any longer. Oh shit, I got pushed off. Can you believe that? And I think that's all I have for power poles out here. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the same thing here. We'll put that thing in there. Let's just go open this up for a moment. And we will hook in there. That should be right. Is that right? No. I did it again. I put it too high. There. Good. So that gets power down uh, into this side of the building. And it neatens up everything out here. Looking good. All right, so now we have, we just have these two machines that need to be connected down here. So let's actually run this over here first. We've got two machines that need to be connected there. We might run into a clipping issue Here, let's um, let's see what happens if. I see. I don't want to put that on the glass. That's uh, that's kind of weird. If we put that there, we can connect to that one, no problem. But then we also have this one over here. So maybe the way to handle that one is, you know, the other thing we could do is run power down from the ceiling too. It is an option. Okay, let's put, uh,
you there. And what happens if we hook you up here? It's already clipping. Nope, it's good. Okay. I think we're okay with that. I don't need this any longer on or this. I think that's okay. All right. You oh, you're you're turned around the other way. Interesting. So that means we can just do this then. Got to get the other one off of it. We should still be able to hook up one more to that, which we will put right on the seam there. And you will go to here. Right, okay. I just like using these wall sockets because it, you know, it cl cleans up the the floor and gets all all these power pulls out of the way. Hmm. I, I'm I'm almost considering the idea of of actually dropping it down from the ceiling, but that might be a bigger issue then it may first appear so I, don't, I think we're just going to stick with this for this factory but we might experiment with that a little bit in a future build uh yeah okay let's put you there and we need to run to this machine and to that one i also need to hook it up here and then you can go take you off to there. No clipping, so we're good to go. Okay. So we're just working our way down the factory floor here. We have another one right about here. So we'll put that on the seam. to connect here. And uh, we'll go to that seam. Okay. That looks good. And then I think for these, we'll, we'll wrap around the corner. Yeah, I think we'll put that there. And then our first connection is going to be here. So we'll put that in that location. Okay, yep. Clears the copper wire. And then we have the next one right here. Which I guess we'll put here. Any chance we can get to that one over there without clipping anything? Oh, no, that one's already connected on this side. Okay, yeah, that's probably a better... Uh, a better situation anyway. Okay, so that... Sh 
should bring everything else back online. I'm not, obviously I'm not hooking these guys up yet because I have to position them, but all of our lights are yellow, which means they're powered, except for these ones, which don't count at the moment. In fact, let's just get these out of here for now. So why are uh, why is nothing running over here? We know it's all powered. Is it because the bins are full? That should be doing wire. Um, okay, so wire's going into here, I think. Okay, I think I know what happened. I think we cut the power to the machines upstairs. Um, and so they shut down, so they're backed up. And so so the wire filled back up and now it's full. So everything is just completely backed up. That's I think that's what's happening because otherwise I'm not sure. Yeah, see everything. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. Everything shut down up here. Okay, makes sense. Now I understand. All right, guys. Well, you get the basic idea. I'm not going to spend any more time on this video. In fact, I may have spent a little too much, so sorry if I bored some of you, but you get the basic idea. So what I'm going to do is go through um, upstairs and, and do the same exact thing and get everything wired back up uh, and get it back up and running. So to, uh, I'm just going to show you this one part here. What we'll do is we'll grab this and then bring it up to our same height, which is was there. And then I'll just start running this down and doing the same exact thing, you know, getting all the power hooked up. There's a lot more stuff going on on this floor, though. So we might still, well, this this could be the place to do ceiling drop from the ceiling power because we're not planning on doing anything at all up there. That's just the roof. So yeah, that might, this might be a good candidate for that. If we did do it that way, right, let's climb up these stairs for a minute. Get a little bit of height advantage. Since we have the stairs on this side, it might be better off to set up that grid starting on that side. I don't know. I'll have to give it some thought. Um, but what I'm going to do for now is let's just hook you um, into here. And that should get everything back up and running upstairs here. Yeah, that, that got the whole thing back up and running. And I'll come through here later <coughs> off camera and 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 you know fix it fix it up with wall sockets. I might I might give the ceiling thing a try and see if I like it. And if I don't, then I'll just go back to you know using them on the wall like we did on the first floor. Okay. But I just, like I said, I like this better. You know, we, we trade all of the poles on the floor, clean up the floor for a bunch of wires here, but 
I mean, the wire, we got to do the wires regardless, whether they're coming off of a pole on the floor or off of a socket on the wall. Uh, you just have to. It's the way the game works. But I don't know. If I, if I really like the, the ceiling drop uh, on the second floor, then maybe I'll come back down here and do it down here too. But I'll do all that off ca camera and show you the end results. Okay, so we need to get cruising here because we're kind of running out of time as usual. And I don't want to spend any more episodes on this factory. Um, so let's see. We need to bring with us a a Mark One miner. And do I have an, another little mini miner? I do. Uh, not that it's a big deal to make those. Otherwise, I should be able to. Why can't I smelt Caterium? I thought we started Caterium research. Ah! We didn't research the ingots. Okay. Okay, so we need to also get the quick wire because what we're going to do with this plus it's going to open up some new awesome shop stuff for us is i'm basically going to set up a miner a smelter a constructor to make the quick wire and an awesome sink and i'm just going to feed it right into the awesome sink and that'll start building tickets for us again um because our ticket producing item here which is the smart plating we're trying to accumulate and get 500 of those for the space elevator and we should actually go look at that we're probably getting close. But once I get that 500, you don't use smart plating for anything else in this game. So I'll once again just feed it into the awesome shop. Yeah, we're getting close. When this square here fills up with 50, then we have a total of 500. So we're not too much further off on that. All right, so let's see here. Make sure we have enough stuff to build a bunch of foundations. Uh, we need concrete and plates. Might grab a few more plates. It looks like we're doing pretty good on concrete. Okay, plates are all the way up at the top. Um, oh, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. I keep forgetting that we have copper plating on the end there now. Let's grab a, a few more stacks of those. Um, for the smelter, yeah, we got plenty of wire, plenty of rods. For the constructor, we got plenty of plates, plenty of cable. And I think we're good. All right. Oh, I do need to put um, rails down around out here, too. I'll get to that. Hopefully, I'll get to it before OSHA shows up. Oh, you know what we got to do? Damn it. I, we got to run power out there. Yeah, we're going to need power. The location that we're going to is about halfway between here and our... Our coal miners we do have power out there but I think it's probably going to be just as easy to run the power from here over there as it is going to be to run from the coal mine to over there let's take a look at something If I were to zoop straight out here, we're going to clip into the ground a bit here. But if we do this, the advantage is if we ever wanted to run the Caterium back here. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second.
we could we could probably set the caterium up here. Uh, we can't put anything over here because we need that for the screws. We don't really have room over here for it. And I don't think we have room on the second floor either, but let's just go look. I should probably put a stair well up there from the other end of the building too, huh? No, there's there isn't any room up. Well, hold on. There's some room over here. Cause this we could we, we could either raise up higher or even go under the floor. Um well actually we'd have to we could go underneath that so assuming these two conveyor belts were under the floor they were in other words they were out of the way um we could ship the caterium ore all the way to the factory, smelt it here, or we could even, or we could even just smelt it out there. It's just that I kind of like to have all my machines here, so that way if I need to get them, you know, adjust something, I can. So what we would do is we would have, um, we'd probably go this way actually. So we bring the ore in roughly into there. And then we could take a constructor and put it right here. And then have it do the wire for us. And then we could just run a, a line to feed it into the awesome sink or even set up a, a second awesome sink which you can also do I'm kind of liking that idea and if we did it that way maybe instead what we do is we run our our road out this way but I might want to actually use catwalks because it would be less bulky looking and we we could still run the conveyor line back along this for aesthetic and realistic purposes, realism purposes, I would still come along periodically and run some concrete pillars down to the ground for supports. Just because I don't like shit floating. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of liking that idea. Okay, so. We need that. We need access up here. Oh. Try that again. Let's put, um, you there, and since you're in the middle, that makes this kind of weird, doesn't it? Uh, 
Oh, right, because that one we have held off to the side. Okay, I was going to say, why didn't we have that problem down there? Is that clipping? Nope, it's good. So what we need to do is put you guys there and you there and just a normal rail right here. Sort of kind of clip into that, but not bad enough to give me heartburn. Um, in fact, this just needs to be a, a normal or here. Okay. What do we need to make of these? We need rods and and plates. We'll probably have enough to do this. We'll see. I think that's where we're going, but I'll tell you what let's do. I don't want to build all the way over there just to realize I went too far or not far enough. That does look really damn close though. But let's let's stop this right here. Um and yeah, for now, I'm just going to um, build some stairs so we can get back up on this inn. All right, let's go back and get our tractor, and then we're going to drive over there, and we're going to set up our miner at the deposit and start running a walkway this direction and see where they're going to intersect. Okay, so we got to get up to there. <clears throat> so let's see if we can pop a foundation up there. Uh, let's just go with a one of these. And then we'll grab the double ramp. All right, let's make sure this is loaded. I think there might be some bad bads up here. Yep. Got him. Okay, so this is a pure Caterium uh, deposit. Really nice find, and we got a blue slug over there too that we'll get. In fact, let's go after him now. Just looking around to see if there's anything else up here. Okay, so our catwalk, that, we were pretty damn close, actually. And just eyeballing it from here, it looks like it's very close to the same height as well, which is really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and set, let's go two meter foundations. And we'll put it on the global grid, as always. Now, once we get hypertubes, uh, we can also 
set up a hyper tube um, line out here to get out here quickly. Uh, and that is one of our milestones in our current objective. All right, let's grab the miner. And we want to turn you this way. Not quite in the center. So this is going to give us 120 ore per minute because this is a pure node, which is really nice. Really nice indeed. Okay, let's run you out to maybe there. Yeah, we could have gone a little bit further, but we're really close, so that, that's not bad at all. All right, so since the belt's going to come out on this side, we'll run our catwalk on this side. Okay, let's go get him intersected here. Now uh, we are quite a bit higher actually. You just really never know until you get close enough to tell, you know. That's not a problem though, we'll just ramp down to it. It's not a problem at all. There's a Mercer Sphere over there. I was just wondering what those poison plant thingies were guarding. Well, we can blow those up too when we get the Nobelisk. Okay, now, um, what we want to do is... Oh, shit, you know what? Oh, wow, we just about jumped off the back end of that. This is... what? Wait a minute. Why isn't this lining up? We It should be on the global. That's weird. Alright, let's get rid of this. Uh, nope, not that. In fact, here, let's do this. Let's go back down here. Ouch. Oh! We're, yeah, okay. Well, no, wait a minute. We put those foundations on the global grid. I don't know why this isn't lining up. Oh, I know why it's not lining up. Because I think we started a little bit off-center over there when we built that out. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do this. Here, I, I need to run back here and look at something because I want to, we're, we're probably going to need to move this over to the left a little bit. But what we'll do is we'll work our way backwards to set that up because I don't want to go to the right because then we're going to be into that concrete pillar but we do have room to go to the left yeah see so this started here not on this edge that's what the problem is all right so that's what we'll do we'll, we'll just work our way back and we should be fine All right, let's get the ramp. That's got to be a different piece. That's going to have to be the corner piece. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. 
one. Let's bring that down to this level. Okay. And now what we just do is build it back. So I'll see you guys on the other end. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? You guys were just waiting for it to happen. I know. I know how you are. I know how all of you are. You were just waiting. In fact, you are probably taking bets. All right. So, let's see here. What we're going to do now is... I wonder if I should... I wonder if I should run Mark two belts just to get the ore faster because we're going to be producing at 120 per minute. So it makes sense to send it at 120 per minute. I think I will. I think we have enough reinforced plates for that. And that comes out of there nice and straight, too. I like it. I'll tell you what we are going to do, though. All right. We're going to use stackable poles, so that way if we ever want to run something else along this line in the future... Oh, man. They're going to hang out, though. Shit. If we do a, um, a hyper tube line out here, I'll, I can put that along the side. Really? Game? You're killing me, man. Uh, you know what? I, I think we're going to ignore that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I mean, I guess I could... Well, no, we don't want to put that in the middle because then there's not going to be room... I guess we could walk underneath it, right? Holster your weapon. Yeah, we could... I guess we could walk underneath it. That would work. It's going to make this a little bit off kilter, but... All right, here, let's do this. Let's bring... Oh, I hooked that up to the wrong side. Let's bring you down to here. But back it up to here. Oh, no, that's going the wrong way. All right, here, let's try it coming out of here. That doesn't look terrible, I guess. I wonder if, um, I'm just trying to think if I want to try and do this a little differently. What if we put a lift on here? Get it up a little higher. Yeah, I like that better. I like the clearance that that provides. 
We can't do anything about the fact that it's, you know, crooked. That's just, there's nothing we can do about that. Actually, maybe there is. Maybe there is. What if we put a splitter on here? No. That, that, that's going to make it even worse. Okay. Then that's just the way it's going to have to be. All right. Now, the other question is, can I put... I think I can. Um, these little guys... Oh, we can't. Oh, man. Really? What about on the bottom? Must snap to a wall or similar. Hmm. Okay. Well, then I guess we're just going to have to use power lines. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... run the, uh, the conveyor line all the way back to the base and the power lines and I'll see you uh, on the other end. Okay, so here we're going to put in a double outlet. And that way we can run it right to the wall. Oh man, perfect. And then we just do this. And the power is connected. Very nice. You know, uh, we should probably put a rail right here. Safety first. Okay, so <clears throat> that should power on our miner and it can start um, mining the caterium. We need a whole mess of reinforced iron plates. Um, we got a whole mess here. Let's, uh, let's take all of these. We'll leave a couple stacks in there, though. So, if you guys, um, I probably time lapsed some of this, but um, if you didn't notice how I was doing this, uh, basically what I do is I just uh, connect the belt and then I run this way until it runs out, back up till the it turns blue again, and then eyeball that spot and then grab and put the conveyor pole there, and then connect it like that. Okay, so this one, that's the center. So we want to go back to, and I'm going to actually put that there momentarily just to mark it. Um, okay, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, we'll put the conveyor pull there. Uh, and let's hook this up. Now, 
yeah, now I think what we'll do is we'll just put a pole right at the bottom here. And that looks good. Just give us any issues, especially right here. I don't think so. I think we can get under that okay. 